Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sanford Kine again. I'm an economic consultant and business author. The title of this presentation is, actually a short presentation, is How to Reform Education. Why Make Life Complicated? There's an old saying, I remember when I was in college, K-I-S, keep it simple. I don't remember, it's been a long time. K-I-S, actually it was K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. Um, I don't think we're stupid, but it gives you a sense of humility. Keep it simple. Look at, let's say you had an unruly child that gets an allowance and the kid just won't listen to you at all. He won't clean his room, won't do any chores around the house. You get the picture. But you increase the kid's allowance every year. The kid has no incentive to reform himself or herself. The same it is, same it is with education. The more money you throw at state governments, local governments, national governments, uh, governments, period, doesn't matter what level they're on. The more money you throw at education, the less incentive the educators, the establishment, the bureaucracy, actually you should just focus on one word is the educational, two words, the educational bureaucracy, the less incentive they will have to reform themselves. So how do you reform education and keep it simple? You do not reform education by throwing more money at it. We had a governor in California, very popular among both parties, uh, George Zygmajian. He's long since been out of office. But I remember what he once said when he was retired. He said, the educational establishment will never have enough money. You can give them all the money in the state budget, they'll want more. That's not how you reform education. You reform education just based on one simple word, competition. Competition. You do not feed the bureaucracy. You give choice to the parents or legal guardians of school-age children. At an absolute minimum, every school in the United States, K through 12, should be a charter school. But better yet, you should give parents choice. Choice. You should give them a voucher. The state governments or the local governments could give them a voucher where they could decide what's best for their child. They may want to send them to a public school, a parochial school, or a private school. Whatever meets their needs, you will be changed. You'll see change overnight in the public educational establishment. The bureaucracy will have to change itself, else they'll become like the dinosaurs. They'll become extinct. Competition will change education namely vouchers. Give parents and legal guardians of kids, school-age kids, choice. Do not feed the educational bureaucracy. All it does is you'll have more high price administrators. And actually what you're doing when you're giving money to the educational establishment is beefing up their pension plans, which is bankrupting, bankrupting state and local governments. These pension plans have to be reformed. And the bureaucracy, education bureaucracy has to be cut. Give parents choice and you will see immense changes overnight in the educational, public educational establishment in the United States. Actually, this works in any country, just not. Competition works in any country. I'm just talking about the United States right now. The way to go, the way for the future is to empower the parents and the legal guardians of school-aged kids, not the educational establishment. Till we meet again, may you grow and prosper. Be well now, my friends.